What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. All right, so uh, I want to talk about Deadpool, the new Deadpool and Wolverine movie that debuted uh, this past weekend. Um, I've always had a feeling that this could possibly be the biggest movie of the year. Um, I know how popular, we all know how popular the Wolverine character is. Um, Hugh Jackman, who I think a lot of younger people will find this uh, hard to believe, but when the first X-Men movie came out back in 2000, a lot of uh, X-Men and Wolverine fans who only had the reference of the comic book were crying foul about Hugh Jackman being cast as Wolverine. I, I distinctly remember people saying, look, Wolverine is five foot three in the comics. This guy is six foot two. He's too tall. At the time, Hugh Jackman was not a uh, big guy. You know what I'm saying? He was actually rather skinny. As a matter of fact, in that first movie, he put on muscle to look like that. So a lot of people are like, man, he's all wrong. And he, he embraced that role and he made it his own to the point where people are having a hard time thinking of another actor playing him, playing Wolverine. Uh, you know, uh, so I felt like this movie, when you look at uh, when you look at how a lot of people were somewhat disappointed in Wolverine origins with how they portrayed Deadpool. And Ryan Went Reynolds uh, in the Deadpool movies have fixed uh, that portrayal that was in that movie and been more faithful to the comics. Uh, Deadpool is a really beloved character. Uh, and Ryan Reynolds has been great performing him and portraying him. And so has Hugh Jackman. So now the only thing left to do, and they've been teasing about this for quite so long, is to put them in the same movie together. And I knew it was going to be big, but this looked like it's even bigger than what I thought it was going to be. Um, Deadpool and Wolverine right now is racking up at the box office, racking up. I knew it was going to be huge because Deadpool and Deadpool 2, respectively, used to be the biggest already movie of all time. I think the first one made $783 million. The second one, $785 million. But Joker came out in 2019, and that became the highest grossing already movie of all time. Matter of fact, it's the only already movie right now that has ever grossed over $1 billion. But I think that's going to end with this one. Uh, Joker made $1 billion, $79 million globally. In his first night of previews that Thursday, it made $13 million. This movie made $38 million in its first night in previews. It's going to have one of the biggest box office openings, period. Uh, but the biggest ever for an R-rated movie. The conservative estimates was that globally, this movie might make $350 million. And domestically, maybe something around, uh, I think it was estimated maybe 180 million, but then they pushed it up to two, possibly 200 million. Well, right now, this movie's on pace to make $250 million this weekend, domestically. Globally, it's on pace to make $450 million worldwide. Um, so yes, this movie's going to make over a billion dollars. And it's going to surpass Joker as the highest grossing already movie of all time. Now, I don't think it's going to threaten. I don't think. I don't think it's going to threaten Avatar, Avengers Endgame, Titanic. I don't think it's going to join the $2 billion club. That Star Wars movie that made over $2 billion. I don't think it's going to threaten that club. But then again, who knows? Who knows? Sometimes you don't know how these movies work. Sometimes... It may be a movie that spreads word of mouth, which this movie seems to be doing. Sometimes movies have huge drop-offs after the first couple of weekends. But then some movies, like Avatar, they stay with a steady, consistent uh, 
respectable growth for a long period of time. It also helps if there's not a lot of competition in the box office for some movies. If, if it's not a lot of competition for quite some time. So I don't know how well this movie's going to do, but I think it's going to do exceptionally well. Um, if I had to take a guess, I think this movie is going to go down as a top 10 highest grossing movie of all time. That's just a guess on my part. Um, people have been wanting this dynamic. Uh, you know, people have been wanting to see Hugh Jackman portray the character at least one more time. And um, from what I understand, this movie is doing, I mean, the reviews are unbelievable. The reviews are unbelievable. And, um, you know, I like the I like the fact that now Holly Weird has understand now. They understand that you can't just always crank out a sequel and not worry about the quality. You know, when I was a kid, there was so many franchises that was cranking out sequels that were pale in imitations of the original. Didn't have the same magic, the same spark, sparkle, and you felt like it was just a cash grab. Uh, but now a lot of these uh, artists, is, well, it's another thing too, uh, more and more actors have a say and input in the process of these movies. Uh, you know, it, and I think that's important. The, the, the actors have more of a voice than they once did. Um, they're making more money than ever before too, so that gives them uh, more power and uh, their business people more in there, uh, you know. But anyway, I'm going to watch this movie eventually. And uh, I saw Bad Boys 4, by the way, and it's tremendous too. Um, I recommend that movie. But to those who haven't seen this movie, uh, go out there. From what I understand, it's a good movie, a great movie. Uh, and, you know, and it's not just a, a financial thing. It's not just uh, breaking up at the box office. Critically, this seems like it's going to be a major success. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is. Uh, now, I do understand, from what I understand, this isn't exactly the same Logan. This isn't the same Logan X Wolverine uh, slash Wolverine that we've known in the movies. This is a variant of Wolverine from a different planet or whatever. So at least that's what I've read. So, you know, there's that. But anyway, uh, tell me what you guys think.